Today in London, I dine at Dinner by Heston, a restaurant located in Knightsbridge. In this episode, we tour the kitchens of Heston Blumenthal. We have a chat to the master chef and try some of the favorites at Heston's. Let's start at the beginning. Your journey starts by choosing a card. This determines the level of interaction with the Heston's team. Which is the most discreet level of service because they think of it as an uninterrupted style where we let the food take you on its own journey and the jester myself tells you the story. It's amazing. We've got the guide where we're going to give you a nice overview of the ingredients, the preparation, a little bit about the history um, and sort of guide you through your experience. The Maverick is where we really jump down the travel hole and leave no stone left unturned and we're really going to dig deep into the history, the inspiration, anything you want to know about the hotel, the restaurant, the fat company, you name it. Nothing is ask the question. So you can think of a state of mind and time. The selection of wines on the menu does not disappoint. We also sample the cocktails. Here are French martinis. The entrees arrive. First up is the meat fruit and a dish known as rice and flesh. Oh, there's the, uh, the meat fruit. Wow. My gosh, it's beautiful. So here we have the meat fruit, the chicken liver parfait inside of the manual gel. So the leaf is just to decorate, so you can just pop that to one side. Cool. Then we've got the campfire toast on the side for us with an olive oil to yep. use with the garlic for a really time. Yep. We have the rice and flesh, which is the hot and rolly rice with the mascarpone, parmesan and salmon. Braised beef and sheep on top, so oh. for six and a half hours. Yeah. Very, very tender. We've got the red wine juice on top as well. Mm. And then we've got the roast marrow and Welsh cake. So the Welsh cake on the bottom with the marrow bone and pancho bread oh. from mix. So it's both anchovies, snails, braised with vegetables. And Manu is pouring on. Okay, lovely garlic lemon Wow. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, Meat fruit is my favourite dish. I always have it when I visit Heston's. <laughs> oh no, it's not working, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this dish, known as rice and flesh, is beef brisket with risotto. It's now time to sample a Riesling from Austria. I love it. <laughs> I literally love it. <laughs> oh yeah. Is it tasty? Yes. That'll go really well. Yum! Really, really well. That is good. That is good. The mains start to arrive. We tried the cod and the powdered duck breast. Both were amazing. And the mushroom pie arrives. I mean, my god, oh my god. mushroom pie. So it's like a chocolate casing. <laughs> we have a mushroom duck style, so we've got just that quarter of the mushroom. Baby mushroom, so this is a company that actually produces vegetarian alternatives to meat. And has to work very closely with them to create. I can say that everyone is loving this experience. The quality of the meals the service by the staff, the wine selection. It can't be faulted. I don't think we left anything on the plate. Even the truffle mashed potato, we had that last little bit of truffle. Or more so, my cousin. It's not often you find a good restaurant selling ice wine. This will be the perfect accompaniment to the desserts. Uh, it's actually from Grand Cru size and it's 100% Grunavetina, so the, the most plant and native variety from Austria. Wow, ice wine. I haven't had this for 2018, the last ice wine I had. So, yeah, I wow. never had it. 
probably the, the most famous ice wine is from Canada. Yeah. So Canada is very um, is very into ice wine. Well yeah. Of the climate. So we can't get in Australia. Well. So, <laughs> so 2018, the last definitely time I had not ice wine. Definitely not. <laughs> For dessert, we share the tipsy cake. This needs to be ordered at the start of the meal. It does take time to prepare. Super, super, um, ripe stone fruits, a bit of exotic fruits as well, like fig notes and raisins. This doesn't, you know, so it has a bit of age on the shoulders. Right? Is it good? It is good. It is good. <laughs> wow. Heston's is all about theatrics, so we had to try the liquid nitrogen ice cream. You ever, have you ever had um, liquid nitrogen ice cream before? No. Ice cream? Never. Never. Fantastic. So we're going to start off with this beautiful compote, which is made of raspberry and compressed apples. Very refreshing last touch. There's now the bottom of the cone laid up. We also have our custard, which is a regular custard, but made with uh, yogurt and lemon. So the yogurt will be an essential ingredient to give a really smooth and creamy texture. So what the liquid nitrogen is going to do, essentially it's going to freeze the custard straight away. It's going to create micro tiny crystals uh, to obtain your ice cream. Uh, now we, call, we can go back in time, uh, back to the 1901 where there was a lady called Agnes Marshall. She was one of the greatest cooks during the Victorian time. And uh, she actually wrote an article in a newspaper called The Table, saying that people would make ice cream in the future using liquefied gas. And she was absolutely right. She's the queen of ice cream over there. Because your ice cream should be ready. We a double check. We also have um, three toppings you can choose from. Apple popping candy, raspberry meringue, and uh, chocolate with coconut. So we personally recommend to have two, but you can have all of them. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, okay. Yeah, nice. I know. <laughs> One, you said? Okay. Up to you, all of them as well. Mr. Two, that one and that one, please. All right. Yay! My favorite. Hi, Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks very much. Next, we are invited into the kitchens of Heston Blumenthal. Another experience. So, welcome to our kitchen. Yeah. You can actually stand here. This is the um, wonderful, best place, the best that view awesome. uh, to uh, overview the kitchen. Fantastic. Um, so we have the main pass over here. Uh, we have the hot food on this side. It's called hot ladder. Starters on the right and main courses on the left. As you can see, we have quite a few chefs working today. So <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. We're around 15, 17. Uh, Jake is the chef in charge of the pass today. Hi guys. Oh, this is chef. Good, thank you. How was your lunch? You're gonna be fantastic. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Good yeah, as yeah. always. <laughs> here back in 2019. Went to the Melbourne Hestons. Yeah. Back here, the original. Excellent. Yeah. How, how awesome. Was it <laughs> Better than last time, and it was good Perfect. last time. Perfect. Hopefully yeah. Next time you come back, we'll be even better. Yeah, loved it. No, well done. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, we've got the pineapples right there. Oh yes, we got them. Uh, yeah, you ordered them. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Um, so we've been roasting them for up to five hours. Wow. And yeah, our signature dessert. We also have the Jasper on the left. We we'll prepare our uh, kind of meat, uh, mostly ribeye, fillet, uh, beef. Um, it's our Spanish grill reached up to 300 wow. degrees. Also wow. We also prepare chipotle chips on this side. Yep. On this side over here. Uh, here. We also have the cold ladder where we prepare our meat fruit, the truffle, uh, and all the cold starter. Wow. Uh, ice cream machine oh, as well. Ice cream machine. We'll see that. Shortly. Have you ever tried it? I had you it last time, 2019. Uh, we're gonna have it today. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make it for you. Though. Wonderful. Amazing. Um, so this time the flavor is actually lemon. Lemon. And yeah. Yogurt. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. 
Okay. And so Hess and Blumenthal himself come here often, or is it more the Bray, or is he even in London? There's a question I, I get asked often, to be honest. Uh, it does come here sometimes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just, yeah. you know, to say hello to the team. Wow. Um, but not very often, to be yeah, honest, I yeah, would say. Yeah. Every now and then, yes. Wow, this is awesome. The hotel, they come to eat, say hello to the team. Yes, but it's our yep. chef's table and it's up to six people, so you get to eat in front of the pass actually. My goodness. I uh, get to meet the chefs too. So you can uh, book that separately, minimum spend. Yeah, exactly. Got minimum spend, yep. uh, six or eight course meal. You also wow. got um, one person in charge of the table, which uh, look after you. Wow, wow. It's good to know. Right, yeah. Excellent. We also have a representation of the history behind the dishes. So look at this as a, as a timeline, right? Of the history behind. Uh, our recipes. So here we come, we go from the 1500 medieval time all throughout the history, 1600, 1700. Uh, this is one of the dishes, Salma Gundi, uh, till 1900, the history of ice cream, and nowadays wow. we go actually Palmer Watts, which I used to be a chef here. If you're visiting London, I highly recommend Heston's is on your restaurant list. Don't forget to subscribe. In the next episode, we take a look at the new business class offered by Emirates on our way back to Dubai.